I, I want y'all to know, when we, a few of us are posted data, and when we got this news, and Dave and I were actually together alone in Colorado, um, we anticipated, you know, that we might have a challenge on our hands. And it was a really difficult decision, actually, to take the issue public. We, we obviously didn't want to do anything that would be harmful or, or upsetting to Corbin in any way. But we now know that it, without the public's involvement, we wouldn't even be at two hours a day, you know, twice a day. I don't know if for some of you don't know the story, the original ruling was he gets 15 minutes a day on FaceTime. Two, two 15 minutes. Two, two 15 minutes on FaceTime a day. I mean, this, is, this stuff is insane. And like Larry, you know, I wasn't, I'm heavily involved in politics, a lot of people here know. But I had no idea that this stuff went on. Dave's been telling me for years, I'm just like, <laughs> right over my head. Now I've got a first-hand look. It's just incredulous. It's incomprehensible. It's inhumane. It's evil. Uh, but I want to thank these guys because when we did decide to do it, um, Jeff immediately like got in touch with me. And then I reached out to Jeff. I didn't even know these guys all had a group and worked together. And then of course Larry comes in and like that's what it's going to take. And you know, as um, the sheriff pointed out, we want to do it in the most positive, productive way possible. And in, in, in that spirit, you know, when we do do this closing prayer, I, there's two other people we need to pray for, and that's, that's David's ex-wife and the judge in this case. Yes. That they find some grace here. Yes. And just some raw humanity so that this kid can be with his dad in the most challenging days of their entire lives. Um, also important to know, this is really why I'm speaking, there is a GoFundMe. Um, a lot of you have asked already, so you'll be able to find it. It's, it's called Support for uh, Corbin and David. Um, you can find it on the Dad Talk Today pages, on any of the social media platforms. You can find it on my own, Chris Putnam. Um, we'll put it on David's as well. Uh, of course, um, anybody who asks, we'll just get you the URL as well. It's kind of a tricky little URL. But um, we, we, we need your help on that front too. There's, there's going to be a lot of legal expenses even you know, when we get past this phase or, you know, we're anticipating there's going to be some drama around what happens um, with burial arrangements and things like that. And then, you know, as David pointed out, I mean, now we're, we're not going to stop now. I mean, we're part of this movement now. And, you know, we're going to do some things to affect some legislative change. And the good news is there's a lot of very powerful people in this room, people that have large networks, and we can do that. And, um, we're, we're going to prioritize it and make sure that the next legislative session, we make sure that nothing like this ever happens to another parent, male or female, again. Thank you, guys.